What's up home slice, Lucas here. Today I'm gonna show you how to easily turn a simple cartwheel into eight different flips. That's right, if you can do a simple cartwheel, then it's possible you potentially could already do eight different flips. But you gotta focus. Number one, the back handspring. First things first, you want to take your nice gymnastics formed cartwheel and throw it out the window. Because for these hacks, we're going to be doing what I call the crap wheel, which is basically a cartwheel that a beginner would do. A cartwheel straight to the side, okay, not forward and backwards, alright, the crap wheel. It works. So first things first, to learn the back handspring, you want to start with a basic crap wheel. And then you want to slowly turn your body to the back but you want to keep your hand going in the same direction, pointing in towards your butt. Slowly turn away from it, and then slowly start to jump. Just take it inch by inch, angle by angle, slowly. The sooner you jump, the sooner it will start to look like a back handspring, until. Boom, back handspring. Moving on to number two, the most requested, backflip. In order to turn a cartwheel into a backflip, it's quite easy. You want to use that same crap wheel progression I showed you for the back handspring. However, when you get to a certain point, almost all the way backwards, you want to really start lightening up on the hand. Now you can learn the back handspring as a prerequisite, or you can just skip that and go for the back flip. Once you get a low one, you just need to adjust your timing, conquer your fear, and do a high one. Congratulations, you just did what they said you could not do. Learn how to turn a cartwheel into a back flip. Moving on to number three the trigger aerial and or B kick. Now they are different moves, but I'm not gonna be cheap like that and try to make the list longer. First things first, you wanna work on your crab wheel. Make sure the foot that you're launching off of is pointing in the direction of your flip. Then, once you have a good crab wheel, start with the inside hand first and do a one-handed cartwheel. Once you're feeling light with that, do the outside hand. Then, slowly start to remove the outside hand. And boom. Basically have a trigger aerial just like that, under five minutes. And if it's not upside down enough, just say it's a B kick. There you go. Moving on to number four, the B twist. How on earth are you supposed to turn a cartwheel into a B twist? Easy. Start with a crap wheel. Then what I want you to do is you want to land on your inside heel and do a twist. Just a solid 270 twist so you're facing back the way you came. And then it becomes a B twist. No, but for real, the feeling of that weird little twist at the end of that cartwheel, for some people, that twist will help them get the feeling of what it feels like to do a B-twist without ever having to leave the ground. Okay, I know this one's a little bit more jump straight to it. I have a bonus in the future to make up for it. Moving on. Number five. You can turn a cartwheel into a cheat gainer easily. So what you wanna do is literally just set up that simple J-step, but turn to the side and do your crap wheel. Then, rather than twisting your torso to the side to grab with your hands to the side, you want to keep your torso more straight and throw your arms over your head. Slowly. Over time, you will go more and more upside down until you do this almost cheat gainer like back handspring. Lighten up the hands. Pow! Cheat gainer. Yeah.
Number six, you can easily turn a cartwheel into a front handspring. You want to start with your basic crap wheel. Now, unlike a cartwheel, you actually want to put one of your hands to the inside, fingers facing in. Notice it's not over, it's in. Does that make sense? It's simple. Notice how this kind of makes you go around that hand rather than over. That's great. Work on going around that hand. Turn it more forward and go around that hand. Then try to go more above that hand. Land on your feet. Use more shoulder pop, more momentum until boom. Front hand spring. Number seven, turning a cartwheel into a Webster can be easy. You want to start with your basic crap wheel. What I want you to do, just like the front handspring, I will show you again. Look at the hand on the outside is going to be the inside hand now, just like that. We work our way around. It. Turn more forward. Around the hand. Now, you want to work on using your back kicking leg to help get you momentum. A little more so than the front handspring. Right now, I'm just breaking it down more simple for you so it can be easier for you to understand. Start to use more pop. Jump off your jumping foot more and kick up more. Try to go over more. Turn your cartwheel more forward more. Your cartwheel becomes a Webster. Incredible. A bonus. Turning a cartwheel into a side flip can be an easy task. You want to start with a basic crap wheel going in the direction of the side flip you want to do. Then you want to do a one-handed cartwheel starting with your inside hand. Then switch to your outside hand just like we progressed to for the aerial or the B-kick. Then hook a side flip. So that's a bonus. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you can turn a simple cartwheel into a front flip easily. All you gotta do is start with your basic crap wheel. Then, just like for the front handspring, we want to put the outside hand to the inside turned inward. Walk around it just like for the Webster progression. But once you get to a certain point, pretty much facing forward, you want to start working on the upwards arm motion of the pop and then tuck. Pop your butt up. Still put your hand down until you're feeling ready. Once you're light enough, front flip. You have just morphed a cartwheel into eight different flips. How easy can it be guys I am telling you learning flips does not have to be hard or scary you just got to believe but you got to focus I hope this was informative and entertaining thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe more videos coming out remember to practice at your own risk peace you all have a good one and I'll see you in the next video